Can particles or persons take paths which they are not supposed to cross? The Hardy's Paradox. Let's enjoy it! Any object or organism is both wave and particle. As humans, if our wavelength is long enough, we could certainly appear simultaneously in different places because we would behave as a wave rather than as a well-located particle. How long our wavelength is depends on our momentum. The momentum is the product between our mass and our velocity. In this way, some paradoxes appear when particles or organisms show a wave character behavior. Imagine the following situation. There are three doors open. They are A, B and C. Michael on the left hand side can only cross through the doors A and B. On the other hand, Edward can only cross through the doors B and C. If their wavelengths are larger than the separation of the doors which they can cross, then they will walk through the two corresponding doors simultaneously. Michael will cross the doors A and B simultaneously, while Edward will cross the doors B and C simultaneously. Let's assume now that Michael and Edward dislike each other, such that they will avoid the cross their paths at any cost. Then if Michael crosses the door B, Edward will avoid it. In the same way, if Edward crosses the same door, then Michael will also avoid it. You come to the door B, I will not cross it. If I see you going to the door B, I will not cross it. What do you think that the final result will be? I crossed the doors A and B. One moment, I crossed the doors B and C. The final detection pattern suggests that Michael and Edward have both crossed the door B. But how is it possible? They have both said that they would not cross the door B if they see each other. Michael and Edward behavior is equivalent to the behavior of an electron-positron pair crossing through the same doors. The positron is the antiparticle of the electron. Then, if the electron meets the positron, they would annihilate for sure. However, the final patterns of detection suggest that both particles still cross the door B. The Hardy's paradox has been proved experimentally. How do you think that we can solve this paradox theoretically? Please wait for the solution by the end of July. Continue with us. In summary, in quantum mechanics, there are cases where the particles appear where apparently they shouldn't do it. This is the famous Hardy's paradox. If you liked this video, please give us a like, share the link, and subscribe to our channel. You can also contact us to the email address appearing on the screen. More videos are coming very soon. Continue with us.